Hello everyone and welcome back. So I have another really great 2v2. I really like this one. It really shows why there always should be capturable buildings on maps because it, it really helps to deter camping and it helps uh, throw the odds in your favor when you are fighting campers. So uh, let's jump right in. Another great 2v2 with me and Cat Max. We got the synergy rolling uh, after the last battle. So let's take a look. I have a light cavalry, a Yari cavalry, my new bow cavalry veteran, uh, five katana samurai this time, two Yari samurai, and uh, let's see, I think I had two, yeah, two bow samurai, and also a fire rocket. So I have five katanas this time, because I wanted to bring a fire rocket, because Forest Goalie is a great map for fire rockets. You can get some serious crab claw action going here. So I like to bring them to this map. I'm kind of phasing them out for team battles, because uh, the small unit sizes, ten rockets just isn't very good, but you can get them in an ambush on your uh, crab deployment. <coughs> it can be quite effective. So look at Cat Max. He's got the two Yari cavalry over here. Uh, three, actually, there's one there as well. One, two, three, four, five Katana Samurai, uh, a Naginata Warrior Monk, a Naginata Samurai, a Yari Samurai, and a Matchlock Warrior Monk. So let's look at the other side. Obviously, uh, these guys were in a clan together, so they're going to be working together. So one guy is on one side of the deployment. Uh, let's see what he has. Some Great Guard, two of them, two Yari Cavalry, one, two Matchlock Warrior Monks, two Bow Warrior Monks, four Naginata Warrior Monks, and his General. So a lot of quality heavy army there. Let's look at this guy, two Matchlock Warrior Monks, one, two, three bows, two of them Ashigaru, one a Warrior Monk, a Yari Ashigaru, and one, two, three, four Katana Samurai, along with a Yari Cavalry, a Great Guard, and a Light Cavalry. So uh, as is typical on this map, uh, usually the people just run and capture the building that's closest to them, that's what I'm doing, uh, the other guy's not, they're going to meet together and use this little hill. Uh, it's a nice little camping spot. They're not going to be totally campers. I don't want to call them uh, straight up campers. Um, but they are going to sit in a very uh, obvious defensive position for quite a while and, and kind of force us to make some moves. So uh not going to call these guys out for campers. And, and you'll see later as the battle develops. I'll get to that. But uh, what we were expecting here is camping and them taking up a very strong defensive position. And we're going to have to attack it. So we'll need all the bonuses we can. So we're going to try and capture all the buildings. So uh, nothing really happens for a while, so I'll triple speed it. Uh, I see his bows moving forward, so I'm going to bring mine up as well. I'm going to try and get some early skirmishing in. The priority is the bow warrior monks. Now I thought he was an Ashigaru, so I was just kind of sitting here. Uh, but then he came up to start shooting at me. Meanwhile, uh, oh, here we go. Uh, I've got some crab stuff going on. The Yari cavalry is moving through this forest. The bow cav is going to come up and start shooting at the matchlock warrior monks. I actually kind of like these guys. They're really good for harassment. You can kind of catch opponents off guard, especially if you can hide them like I just did. And, uh, you know, kind of surprise them. You can, they can move really quickly and get some nice shots off. But uh, I'm only going to kill about four of them there. They don't have any accuracy bonuses. I wanted to get the uh, this weirdo formation, whatever it's called, in this game. You know, the Cantabrian Circle from Rome. It has a different name now, though. So my bow samurai are going to be shooting into him. Uh, again, I didn't realize these guys were bow warrior monks, so I wasn't having both of them focus on them. Otherwise, I would have. Uh, in the meantime, the bow cavalry, since the matchlocks have retreated, are now going to be shooting at the bow warrior monks. Now, I notice he has a matchlock hidden right here in the forest. So I have to be very careful there. Not to walk too close, but uh, hoping maybe I can get him to pop his increased range before he has to. And that would be really nice. So his bow warrior monks are down to half strength. My bow samurai doing a good job. Since I have the shrine at this point, uh, they're going to stand and fight to pretty much the last man, so really glad to see that. Meanwhile, Cat Max is capturing the other buildings. We almost have the workshop, and his cavalry is kind of moving up to kind of secure the sword dojo. Uh, They'll probably be moving shortly. So this is going to be some nice little skirmishing. I'm just going to try and take down his bows as much as possible. If they're going to be entrenched. I don't want to have them shooting into my guys. So uh, And since they're in the forest, my bows won't be that useful. So might as well use them while they're out in the open. That was my philosophy. Uh, my bow cav is going to try and get... Uh, cute here and try and shoot at these matchlock monks, but I walk just in range of these matchlocks. Luckily, it's only going to kill a couple. They don't have a very good firing angle. Uh, even if it's a clear line of sight, the elevation does affect uh, matchlock shots. So even if you make them shoot up or downhill, it will help you out. Um, even if they have a clear line of sight, as you see, I only lost three. So uh, just going to try and whittle these guys down. Um, Black is going to move over on kind of Cat Max's side, make him kind of uh, move around. Uh, so we were planning on me coming up this way, attacking from this direction, and Cat Max will come up way around the rear to uh, use these hills and advance from there. So that's our strategy at this point in the battle. Uh, moving up my fire rocket soon. He's in the forest, though, so they're not going to be that good. 
Uh, I need to wait for a good opportunity to use them. I'm pulling back my melee now that all my missiles are dead. Um, just so they don't get hit by early action. Don't want to lose any guys at this point. Uh, meanwhile, we have a little fire attack. They're walking into range, but uh, because they're moving, they're not going to get a very good shot off. Kills a couple warrior monks, though. And now he's moving to capture the sword dojo. In fact, he's already started capturing it. So we will have all three capturable buildings on this map. I'll fast forward because nothing's really happening. Uh, I got some free shots into this Boashigaru. Must have taken him off auto fire when he told him to stop uh, shooting my bow samurai or something because they're not going to shoot back, really. Uh, so I'm going to get some free shots here into this Boashigaru, but I will pull back. I do want to conserve my bow cavalry and kind of throw them off, maybe, for when the uh, my actual attack comes. So yeah, he's going to start shooting here. I've already started pulling back, though. So I'm going to juke that arrow, not lose a man. Uh, good stuff. Like, even if it looks like it's going to hit him, you can juke. That arrow volley looks like it connected, but it didn't. I love it. Actually, you know, bow cavalry have pretty good armor, too, so... Uh, they're, they're pretty good for skirmishing. They can take arrows pretty well. So we're just kind of waiting for the sword dojo. Uh, we'll triple speed it uh, since nothing is really going on. But black's going to kind of start moving out now to the hill. Uh, the problem with using these pincer attacks is that you separate uh, from your teammate and the enemy can capitalize on it. So he's going to start moving out now. Uh, kind of threatening cat max. That's when I realize I'm going to have to start moving too. Um, let's see. My fire rockets are still waiting. They haven't come out yet. Uh, my Yari Cavalry is going to move up to hit these Matchlock Monks from behind when he least expects it, but they stop and uh, start facing where my Cavalry will be coming from, so I pull back. Can't really use this ridge here. I have to go all the way over here, and that would mean walking into this Matchlock Warrior Monk who is still hidden. So I'm just pulling them back and conserving them at the moment. Uh, meanwhile, my Bow Cav has come up, and I'm going to actually try and finagle something here. Uh, see, I'm not going to get too good of a shot off. They killed seven, and so I'm just going to try and... Uh, get around here, get a nice little charge into the light cavalry. My bow cavalry has been obliterated though, and nothing's really going to come in this early cav action. Uh, sad. I had high hopes for this attack, but uh, I was hoping to catch him off guard while he was micromanaging his other side, but uh, that was not to be. So, my missiles are dead, my cavalry is dead, all I have left is my infantry. Actually, I still have this light cavalry and the fire rocket. So while they're being held down, I'm sending my light cavalry too. I really tried to get these guys to shoot, and they said they were shooting for so long, and they didn't actually shoot for a while. And he's going to pull back just in time as he kills my Yari Cavalry. And not going to... Like, look, that would have been such a good volley. They were right there. I mean, that would have obliterated those guys. But, sadly, they pulled out right at the last second. My Yari Cavalry couldn't stand long enough. Uh, so Cat Max is going to start moving now to get a good position. Don't want to attack on that rather steep hill. Uh, so he's going to start trying to flank now. Um, they set up a pretty good defensive position covered by their matchlocks. Uh, he's got a Yari Ashigaru over here. Uh, I have a pretty, a fairly tenuous route of attack uh, with these matchlock warrior monks, but I think I can handle it here with this hill. So we're just taking our time, thinking these guys were going to camp. Uh, they had a, they have a pretty good opportunity to split us up. So an attack soon by them could potentially be devastating. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens. I'll triple speed because we're just moving at this point. Just moving. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, still just moving. Just get it. Remember, when you're fighting campers, just get that angle of attack. But here comes his cavalry uh, out of the forest from hiding. And Catmax is going to respond, pulls his cavalry back. Um, they're going straight for his matchlock warrior monks, it looks. Uh, but he's going to bring his Yaris up just in time, and they will start ripping apart this cavalry. So four units of cavalry going into one Yari Samurai. I wonder who's going to win. But sadly, this Matchlock Monks takes a bad charge. They're down to 15 right now. Uh, Cat Max's cavalry is also going to be moving around to uh, try and get a nice little flanking charge. And they're just going to get torn apart by that Yari Samurai. I love them. I, really, I cannot recommend these guys high enough. Bring at least one just so you can just tear up those cavalry. At least once they get pinned down, you can use that rapid advance and just sprint over there and clock them a new one. So let's see. Matchlock Warrior Monks only have nine men. Not looking so good for them, but thankfully we don't rely on Matchlock Spam to win. So we're still in good shape. Uh, they're going to get some little shots into the cavalry. His cavalry is pretty much obliterated. So both of the enemies and us are pretty much down on our cavalry. Cat Max still has a couple. I think he has one, yeah, one, two Yari cavalry left. Um, Yellow still has the one great guard. Uh, so here I am moving as well. Uh, I'm trying to get the best position possible before the attack comes because black is on the move. Uh, they're not going to camp forever, 
and they see a good opportunity and take the opportunity to attack and I'd like to congratulate them for not just sitting and camping the whole battle they recognized a good time to attack and moved out so at least I can give them that much let's see yeah, I mean, it can be a good thing to trick people into attacks. We thought they were camping. Uh, we're going to make a little pincer action, and they responded and started moving uh, to cut off one of us. So Cat Max is going to try and use the hills here. See a bad firing angle there on his matchlocks. So that's what Cat Max is going to try to do. This Yari Cavalry gets caught, but he might have been just drawing fire. Uh, he didn't have very many, many men left in the unit. And look at that. They're going to waste two fire attacks on this little Yari Cavalry. So good move there by Cat Max. Uh, in the meantime, I'm moving up. I don't have enough time to get into the best uh, angle possible, so I'm just going to run straight at them. Uh, luckily, they're going to get a bad shot off uh, into the Katana Samurai. They only killed about 10 men. That's going to give my Light Cavalry occasion to attack, but oh, the stupid Great Guard came out and caught them, and they stopped their charge. I was like, you idiots, just keep going and hit the matchlocks. It's got to tie those guys down. So James is rushing. My Yaris have used advance rapidly. I'm going to try and tie down both those matchlock monks and the Great Guard. Uh, meanwhile, Cat Max is moving up on the attack. He's got a great hill advantage to work from. Uh, can really cut out the usefulness of those matchlock monks. He's got the, uh, see, look at that. The Naginais are engaged. He's got that hill cover. The matchlocks would have to practically be point blank range to be useful. And they're in the back here. So Cat Max has the perfect spot to fight those matchlocks. Uh, looking over here on my side, real quick, uh, we're just kind of swarming the enemy. And uh, the matchlock monks are moving around. He's pulling them back from over there, so now I have two to deal with. My general is going to bonsai charge into the matchlock monks, but he's still going to get caught by the great guard. Just stop! And I'm like, no, don't attack the great guard. Hit the matchlock monks. Uh, he's going to pop the war cry. We're going to see some wavering, but Cat Max pops his rally, so no trouble there. The Naginata monks are getting torn up pretty hard. They're down to about half health on all of them. Uh, this Yari samurai is doing a great job of just tying down the enemy here. A katana samurai is pushed through and is attacking this bow cavalry and is trying to tie down this matchlock monk. His matchlock monks are useless at the moment, uh, being behind that hill. Um, in the meantime, uh, Cat Max is going to take this opportunity to hit his general and get into some melee there. Meanwhile, on my side, um, this Yari Ashigaru has broken, so I'm going to send one Yari cavalry, or <laughs> Yari cavalry, a katana samurai over to hit the matchlocks. My general is dead, got shot by a matchlock, go figure. So he's just going to be bonsaiing into random missile units with reckless abandon. Uh, I thought I used rally. I don't see it there though. I thought I used it. I guess maybe I didn't. So I'm trying to kill this guy's bodyguard so the orange units over there start wavering as well. But geez, this guy's going to be a mother. And just, I'm not going to be able to take him down in timely. So I'm going to swarm him. Uh, he has 12 men in the unit, so he's obviously an experienced melee general. So that's what I'm trying to do. Meanwhile, Cat Max has pushed up over the ridge. Uh, his matchlocks still have a bad firing angle. Uh, well, it's not bad. It's not great either, though. <coughs> uh, Cat Max's Katana Samurai have pushed through, and it looks like one of his Matchlock Samurai have been routed. I don't see them anymore. Uh, but he still has one at basically full strength, so he's going to have to be careful. We see, we see some wavering on Orange's side. Uh, the enemy general is still alive with one man in the unit, but he's going to shatter right there. So Black is in dire straits as well. Uh, all they have is ranged units. Let's take a quick look back at my side. I'm still trying to take this guy's general down. He's at two men. Uh, he has a Yari Cavalry as well at 8. Um, this Katana Samurai is going to be moving up to uh, support. Now he's moving back to the General as well. Uh, back to Cat Max's side. My General has reached the lines and has smashed into this Matchlock Warrior Monk from behind and will attempt to take him out uh, to relieve that pressure on Cat Max. His General is still alive, going to hit the Bow Ashigaru. And this is just clean up at this point. Uh, all his units are tied down and are wavering. And this battle is basically over. On my side, yep, he's completely routed. And on this side, he's almost completely routed. And, well, there he goes. So, end of the battle. That was a good battle. Uh, really refreshing to have a good battle like that. You didn't see the people abusing, like, the rapid fire and just mowing down your enemy. And we used good train advantage. Now, even with those Matchlock Warrior Monks, we managed to win. I still think they're overpowered, but not impossible to beat. Um, sometimes they are. Like, they sit at that choke point on that river map and just sit there overlooking the the river and just camp there. Yeah, they're unbeatable in some situations, but uh, not at all. And we proved that this one, uh, you can use those hills to your advantage. Great choice to fight on Cat Max's part. Uh, using this little hill, you have to put your matchlocks basically right on top of it uh, if you want to get any kind of good shot. So great job fighting there. Um, managed to split them up, use that little pincer, put them under a lot of pressure, and it was no problem. It was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. At the beginning of the attack, I was rather pessimistic. It looked pretty bad on Cat Max's side, but having those three buildings in our control really helped, too. 
So uh, all in all, it was a great battle. I had a lot of fun. That's what matters. So uh, good luck to you all and see you on the battlefield. Thanks for watching.